Hello. I'm mixing dough, squeezing and blending together the flour and the yeast and the fats and the water that we use when we make bread. Dough is what we make bread from. And this sticky, springy dough has to be worked hard like this for about five minutes before it'll be ready to go into a baking tin. It has to be squeezed and mixed together. And when this dough is cooked, it'll turn into a loaf of bread. Well, today we're going to see how bread is made in a large bakery where 5,000 loaves are baked every hour of the day and night. In the early hours of this morning, when you and I were still in bed, thousands upon thousands of loaves of bread were being baked in bakeries up and down the country. One such bakery Hagenbach's in Wakefield, a city in Yorkshire, has been working through the night. And now its delivery vans are bringing bread, bread rolls, iced buns, tea cakes, sponges and chocolate cakes fresh to the shops. And here's where it all started. We're inside Hagenbach's bakery. Flour, fat, salt, water and yeast are mixed together to make dough, and dough makes bread. The soft, sticky dough in this big lump has to be cut up into loaf-sized pieces. Let's watch for a few moments. The soft, sticky dough is tipped out. Soon a machine will cut it up into loaf-sized pieces. Can you see how soft and slippery the dough is? These little blocks of dough march on like an army, but soon their shape will change. Let's watch. This machine rolls the dough and turns each piece into a ball. Here they come out of the rolling machine. After all the mixing, squashing and rolling, the dough has to be rested for five minutes. You could say that each ball of dough is pushed into a cradle for a little rest. Let's watch. This man is making sure that each ball of dough is the correct weight. 900 grams, just under one kilogram. Now the rest is over and the dough is on the move again. The dough is on its way to the baking tins, but its shape has changed again, rolled into a sausage shape to fit each baking tin. The tins are put into a machine called a prover for 50 minutes. The prover is a big, warm box room where the dough rises. That is, the dough swells up because of the yeast that's been mixed in with it. It will take 50 minutes for each sausage shape to swell up 
and become full size ready for baking. Five thousand loaves an hour are baked in the huge ovens, which work night and day. Here are some brown loaves coming out of the prover, ready to go on into the very hot oven for baking. Can you see how the dough has risen above the top of the tins? Ever so slowly and gently, the risen loaves are passed into a very hot oven. The loaves move through what is really a very long tunnel. As they move through the heat, they are baked. After 25 minutes time, the bread is baked and moves slowly out of the oven. The bread is still very hot, too hot for our hands to touch. Let's see how the bread is taken out of the baking tins. This machine won't burn its fingers. The bread needs time to cool down. Then it moves along to the slicing and wrapping machines. Let's watch and see what happens. The slicing machine cuts the bread automatically. Here's a sliced loaf before it's wrapped. A safety cage covers the slicing machine to prevent anyone's fingers being hurt. Now the bread is wrapped. Each loaf is checked to make sure it's correctly wrapped. Those that aren't are taken out. Here's a machine putting clips onto the bread wrappers to seal in the freshness. Soon these loaves will be loaded into vans for delivery to shops, cafes, hotels and restaurants. And it's not only bread that's made here. See if you know what these ladies are doing. This lady is putting strawberry jam onto a sponge cake. And on goes the cream on top of the strawberry jam. It makes me hungry just looking at it. This is a nice job, putting cream onto sponges. Round and round it goes. Let's watch. On go the tops, to be followed by a dusting with icing sugar. I wonder if people who work in food factories ever feel hungry.
do you know what's happening here? This lady is finishing off some gatto. These are chocolate cakes, the sort you get at birthday parties. Fresh cream is being put on top. On top of the cream, some jam to make it even more inviting. Over in the pastry area, apple turnovers are being made. The pastry is sealed over the apple filling. Let's watch and see. Here comes the cooked apple down the middle of the pastry. Cut into separate pieces, the apple turnovers are placed on the trays, ready to be taken to the oven. Can you see how busy everyone is? The shops are waiting for the next delivery, so baking goes on day and night to supply the needs of customers. The bread we saw being baked is now loaded up into delivery vans. And we are back where we started, with a new daily delivery of fresh bread from Hagenbach's Bakery to the shops, cafes, restaurants and hotels in the town. There are very few people who don't eat bread and today we've seen a busy bakery at work where 5,000 loaves an hour are baked. And here's the dough that I made, here in the three baking tins. I'm leaving it to rise, to swell up. And then when it's ready, I'll put it in the oven and bake it. Well, until next time, have a nice day at school. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.